recommend this to no one. Just burn it. Just burn it. Murder might not be cozy for everyone. Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Daniela. Hello, how do you do? Today, I want to talk about the April books, like every single book I read in April. And April wasn't the best month. April had an average of like 2.88 stars out of five. And all the time I say that if it's above 350, it's fantastic. But this month is just not very good. Like the books I read, they weren't the best. Also, I was in a little bit of a reading slump and it took me a while to read some of them. So let me just talk you through them. I will do it in a chronological order and just let me tell you about everything I read. The first book I read was Wife Night Out by Sandy Leslie. And this is basically an erotica from 1976. And you can tell, like, I understand this was before the internet. I understand you didn't have resources available but this I, I've read better Wattpad and there are some great things on Wattpad but I've read so much better things on Wattpad like this wouldn't even qualify to be there it's just so bad it's the, the entire book is just like poor no plot that's it this book talks about Brenda and her husband Tony who are very strange people and it's just there's so much I don't know there's so many things I annotated with simply ew that was it and in the beginning of the brook Brenda's very much like a prude and just like oh my god I can't do this but the next second she goes like let me have sex with every single person available because she has sex with like four different people besides her husband and none of the plot makes sense also every single man in this book likes to be um i don't know what i can say to be youtube appropriate but every single man likes to be licked and fingered up their butt every single one of them no exception and they all talk the same also the talk is not good and the amount of times they use snatch for vagina and pecker for penis is ridiculous. I never want to read those words again, ever. Like, I gave this book a one star, by the way, if I haven't said it before, it's just, it was terrible. I just, oh, it's so bad. Let me read you a quote, just so you understand how bad this is. Oh, Tony, I'm juicing, she exclaimed. I made it. A second later, Tony got his gun off. Baby, I'm shooting. Just feel the juice spurting up your ass. I need a cleanse after this. And the entire book is like this. So you know it's bad. Like, recommend this to no one. Just burn it. Just burn it. Um, but yeah, this was the first book of the month. So you can understand how, how wonderfully my month started. So this was Wife's Night Out. The next book was The Sign of the Four by Arthur Conan Doyle. This was also the mystery book of the month, um, one of the wrapped ones. So this was the one for April since April is the fourth month and this has the number four in the title. I loved it. I gave it a 3.75 out of five stars. This book has three short stories by Arthur Conan Doyle. There's The Sign of the Four, The Speckled Band, and The Man with the Twisted Lip. And I really like this book. I love detective, mystery, anything like crime related. I love them. And this just reignited my love for Sherlock Holmes because I used to be obsessed with the, um, the BBC Sherlock in particularly, but I also like, like the series Elementary and all that. So um, I really like this book. I did think that some of the stories were pretty obvious, like who and what did it, but it's a really enjoyable read and the narration in itself is very well written so i would recommend whoa don't break this uh i would recommend this to anyone because it's a short and nice and just i would say cozy but you know murder might not be cozy for everyone but it was great also the first story 
slightly racist, just putting that out there. And slightly might not just be slightly, and it could be slightly more racist, but just just putting it out there. So this was The Sign of the Four by Arthur Conan Doyle. After that, I read The New York Book of Tea by Bo Niles. And again, like all of the books I'm going to talk about in this video, I bought it from a online secondhand bookstore and I really like the title, but it doesn't give you a con like it doesn't give you the content of the book. So it's very much cover based or you can Google every single title and then read them on Google, but I didn't do that. So I thought this would be like a little novel about tea and stuff, but it was not it. It was literally a description of places and venues like you could visit in New York and drink tea. Um, but I still loved it. it. It does have sections like where to buy it, different hotels you can get. Um, afternoon tea or there's like tea shops museums and galleries it was a really interesting read and if i were in new york it would be so much fun to just go through this book and see if some places still exist or if they're gone because you know this book was written in 2003 so a lot has changed since then i would be really interested but i gave this a 3.75 i thought it was a really nice read slightly tedious at times especially since it's just a description of the place and um some of the options you can have and their prices again that means nothing nowadays since those prices i'm sure are extremely different um also at the end you have a little glossary of tea which was a neat little addition and um definitely a book for tea lovers i i wouldn't recommend this if you don't like tea obviously so this was the new york book of tea the next book and one that i was so excited about was those who blink by william mills and i just i was so disappointed with this book i genuinely 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 wanted to love this because the cover was there's something about the cover that made me think it was stunning. Some people may disagree, but I think this is beautiful. And I was so curious about this, but the book is so bad. It's so bad. So I gave this a 1.5 out of five stars because I just, I wanted to like it, but I didn't. So this book talks about Farley who works at a chemical plant, but hates it in there. So he wants to, go back to his deceased grandfather's place and take it over and just become like a, a farmer or a cowboy, I don't know, whatever. And he gets the help from Bo Simmons, who's just a very important man who goes like organizes protests and everything. And he gets help from him and he gets back his grandfather's farm and um, just gets cows and starts living. And the book doesn't really talk about much like there really isn't much but the character of Farley is so unlikable so unlikable he does absolutely nothing for himself nothing he expects everyone to hand it to him and then he's so ungrateful also he's so misogynistic the way he describes women is absolutely deplorable it's terrible and sometimes he describes men like he wants to sleep with them like buddy pick a side um it's just a bad book it's some of the stories don't make sense like some of the plot is just you could have skipped it and also i tried to find this on google and not a lot of people read this and i understand why because it's a terrible book i i hated it i there was nothing about this that i liked it was just apparently it's a louisiana state university press and I hope there is a very few people that read it because it's just not worth it. I would not recommend it. Um, this book, this month feels like book I would not want my worst enemy to read, but it is what it is. You know, I gotta tell you so you know, so you don't read them. But this was one of them. Definitely do not recommend. So those who blink, just don't blink. If you read this book, just 
throw it away. It just it's not worth it. I promise you it's not worth it. After that, I read The Golden Child by George C. Chesbro, based on the screenplay by Dennis Feldman. And finally, a book that I actually liked. I gave this a four out of five stars for, yeah, four out of five stars. And I didn't expect to like it as much, but I actually liked it. So in this book, every a thousand years, there is a golden child that gets born into bed and he's like, the greatest thing in the world if he dies there's will be great calamities and all that so he gets kidnapped and the kidnappers go to los angeles and there's a, a character chandler Jarrell, who's the main character um he's the chosen one um and it's his responsibility to make sure that the golden child is safe and bring him back to tibet and save him from like demons and everything so um you can definitely tell in this book that it is based on a screenplay or a movie because it was a movie. Um, sometimes it's quite choppy the way it's written, but the plot in itself, I really liked it. I love the main character. He just seemed so real and funny and charismatic and the way he just refuses to be the chosen one. I love that for him. There's also a woman, Kinung, who is... Um, destined to protect Chandler and make sure he's okay so he can save the golden child and there's some romance between them and some virginity plot and it's just it makes no sense that could have been easily skipped it added absolutely nothing to the plot and it just it felt like a little cheap trick but besides that the book was actually enjoyable like it did feel like reading a movie if that makes any sense and yeah, I would recommend this. It's really fun. I I would be interested to watch the movie as well with Eddie Murphy. So I'm sure it's a great movie. This was A Golden Child by George C. Chesbro. And the last book that I've read in April, which you probably already know because I've done an entire video about trying to finish it in the last day of April. I'll link it down below if you haven't, um, is Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. And this book took me a while to finish and by a while I do mean a while <laughs> I started it in March well it didn't take me that long now that I think I started in like the 20th of March and finished it on like the 30th of April um so yeah it didn't take me that long but um this is a complete and unabridged edition and I loved it I actually really liked it I've had quite a difficult time disassociating Robin Hood in this book from the Disney Fox version because that was ingrained in my mind since childhood. But once I got past that, it's actually a really nice book. The old English can be quite tedious at times and it's quite difficult to go through at some points. But once you get in the flow, you'll easily read this also it has pictures from time to time and they're quite beautiful see here and i made sure to annotate it and everything i don't know it was a good book overall i liked the way that in the end the book did wrap up a lot of side characters as well because sometimes when a book ends they will only wrap the main character up and i really liked in this one that they didn't forget all the others like you find out what happens to every single one of them. And I love that because I'm a nosy little person. I need to know everything about everyone. So I'm happy they did that. And the narration is pretty good as well. Um, there are times when Robin is a little shit and you don't like him. But for the most of the book, you do really like him. Um, but again, I like that about the character because if they don't have any flaws, can you even relate? So this was great. And I'm glad I went through this. I'm really happy to have read Robin Hood. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of versions by a lot of authors, but this is the one I read and I really enjoyed it. So I would recommend it to everyone to read. This is Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. So these were my reads of April. I read six books, quite short ones because I didn't feel like reading anything at all really this was the worst book and this was the best one for me at least and 
this was kind of the second best but even that i don't know i didn't have the best month so i really hope may will be my month because april wasn't it it just it wasn't it so yeah um this was it and i don't know what did you read in april i'm so curious about what everyone else is reading because i really want more inspiration and i'm like am i the only one reading bad books or is that just a general april consensus so please tell me also if you read any of these books though i i kind of hope you didn't at least if you read these two good ones because i really hope you didn't read the bad ones um but if you read any of them please tell me i'm really curious about what you thought about them and like this video and subscribe and i promise i am a fantastic and lovely person so you'll love every single video i post yeah that's it thank you for watching bye i just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls